There's a lot of confusion when it comes to the topic of engine oil, so here's a quick rundown so you can know your grades from your viscosities. Firstly, let's look at the number on the front. In this case, it's 5W40. Lots of people think that that would stand for 5 weight 40, but that's not the case. W actually stands for winter, but what does winter have to do with oil? Well, that first number refers to the viscosity, aka how thick or thin the oil is, of the oil at 0 degrees Fahrenheit. And the second number is the viscosity when the oil is at 212 degrees. So in other words, the viscosity when the oil is very cold or in wintry conditions, and then when it's up to operating temperature. The lower the first W number, the thinner it is, and the better it will perform when cold. This also applies to the second number. The lower it is, the thinner it will be when at 212 degrees. It's always best to stick with what your manufacturer recommends when it comes to oil ratings, as their engine is built specifically to operate with that thickness of oil. Now below that, you may often see either fully synthetic, part synthetic, or perhaps nothing at all. That simply refers to the technology used to create that oil. If you can't see the word synthetic anywhere, it's likely a conventional oil. Engine oil is labelled as being conventional when it's only been derived from crude oil. However, a synthetic oil will have an additionally chemically engineered process to help add in more beneficial properties. Part synthetic simply means that a partial blend of conventional and synthetic oil has been put together in one can. All oils, regardless of makeup, usually have about 75% base oil and 25% additives in them. It's just that a synthetic oil refines that base oil to be enriched with more helpful properties, while conventional oil relies on its additives to benefit the engine. There are many myths about what type to use, but in most cases, a regularly changed fully synthetic oil will be most beneficial for 99% of engines.